So welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. Last time we went to Mementos for a... I mean, it's been a long time since we went there. I think that's uh, at least Yusuke's first time going there, along with uh, Makoto. And cleared out all of the requests on our board while also hanging out with some people. So yeah, this time we can't really do much in here because, uh, well, we just got back from Memento, so we can't do much. So, let's uh, watch that Jailbreak movie. Might as well, right? We got no books. Over in Thursday. Good it's hot again today. Apparently, you're voiced. Shiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. We're fine. As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. If you say so, then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. Yeah, we're fine. Not like we could even go into the palace again anyway, so... If it's gone, that pretty much confirms it for us. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, today is Tanabata, the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put up bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper, though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, but there is uh, there's a traditional food associated with, uh, associated with Tanabata, just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. You know Alright, Takamaki-san. Tell me, what is, uh, what is traditional Tanabata food? I'll give you a hint. It's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. The... Yeah, I mean... Hey, wait. Really? Traditional food? I'm sorry, Ren. Help me out. So Tanabata is about gods crossing a starry sky to reunite every, uh, once every year. Might have something to do with... Uh... Bit of a stretch, but the Milky Way is apparently the right answer. Oh yeah, they gotta cross the Milky Way to get to each other. So if the traditional food is something inspired by the Milky Way... Sumin noodles, apparently. Yeah, I could see that. The Milky Way is like a long white bundle of them, right? Yes. The traditional food of Tanabata's gotta be sumin noodles. Uh, noodles? Noodles. This is it. Uh, he did gross. That's correct. That's right. The, uh, the traditional food for Tanabata is sumen noodles. No Originally in China, they ate baked good that uh, we call soup, uh, sakube in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, that pronunciation went from sakube to sakumen to sumen. Wholly different food. Going with the theme of calming demons, sumen on Tanabata is sometimes called demon guts. Go restore your strength with some seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Thanks for the help. Nice going. Really gotta help her out every single time, right? Yeesh. Back out here. Uh, one thing I want to check, though. Okay, we do not have lovers. We do need to grab lovers anyway. Uh, yeah, let me go do that real quick, because we will hang out with on this episode. So, I'm just gonna go in and quickly grab probably like Pixie or something. So, meet you guys in a minute. You know, I guess since we're here already, we might as well make a trip over to Untouchables and sell off all the loot we got from Mementos. Oh, Jesus. I wanna make a purchase. Because there's a we have a. Oh, only 5,000 bucks. Although that th that amethyst is very expensive, that's really what's making the bulk of this money. Sell treasure. We don't need to hold this. All right, and we're gonna hang out with Kasumi because, uh, well, she's available and well, she's kind of a priority target. She's also the reason I had to restart this episode because I've misinputted one thing, and well, now we're here. Senpai, I have a uh, favor to ask today. It's not really a gymnastics thing, but. Would you mind coming with me on a shopping trip? Sure. We do have Tom Lynn, so we're good on that end. I can do that. And she ain't responding. Thank you. Resend. Thank you. Sorry. My phone always seems to be acting up. I think I'm good now. So about the place. It's in Kijijoji. 
you know it. I'll send the loca- uh, I'll send you the location of the shop. I'll be waiting. Why couldn't you just meet me out front of Kiji Joji and just walk with me there? But okay, whatever. Senpai? Sorry for dragging you out here. I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wanting to come here for a while, but I never had the chance to drop by. You're looking to buy? Yeah, I want to get my dad a present. You seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted to get your advice. Yeah, thanks for making fun of my poor eyesight. I have to pay to see. Could you try on a couple pairs for me? I'd like to get some visual uh, reference. Thank you so much. Let's see. How about this pair? I think that's good. Wow, those look oh, those really work for you. You look so cool. What do you think? Pretty modern look. I know, it's so fashionable. And it's good that it'd help your vision too. This could be a good one. Hmm. Do they suit your dad though? Hmm, right. Maybe a little too hip for my dad. But your input's been really helpful so far. Would you mind poking around with me for a bit longer? Of course. I'm counting on you. This is actually kind of fun. Let's pick up the pace. Sure. Uh, I, I can't even see. You can barely see. Well, probably for me because I have capture in a small window. Duh. Wow. Those definitely leave an impression. Heck, people might remember the classes and nothing else about you. Right. Uh, you look like a star out of right out of Hollywood. But if my dad wore them, he might look a little shady. Tanaka looking. Duh. This is... Why are those even here? I kind of want a pair. Do not start reacting the uh, events in Persona 4. Uh, Yukiko could lose her mind again. Mm. Sorry, I can't decide. A lot of them are good, but none of them really have uh, have really clinched it for me yet. Trust your instincts. You know, you're right. I'm the one who has to make this call. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm just going off a of gut feeling, but I'll pick this pair. Always for the red, huh? You are a redhead after all. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems perfect for my dad somehow. Good choice. Then it's yeah, I think I can be confident in this one. In fact, I know he'll like it. That's good to know. Thank you for bringing me here. Uh, you're welcome. I ended up with a great present. All thanks to you, Amamiya Senpai. Not a problem at all. Huh. <laughs> well, I've still got to make it up to you. Let's go practice at Inokashira Park after this. Well, if I'm being honest, trying to pick out classes was really setting off my anxiety. All I could think was, uh, what would happen if I couldn't choose or if I chose wrong? I mean, I already failed in gymnastics, and my cooking turned out bad too. After cracking under uh, pressure so many times, I kind of figured I'd just ruin everything again. The more I thought about it, the more empty I felt like I wasn't even me anymore everyone does uh, deals with that so even you know how that feels Amamiya Senpai it's not just me Senpai? I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me it's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off but maybe finding out who I really am is also about finding new depths to myself it does make me feel a little down, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. And having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. We'll work at it together. <laughs> this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance, but it's like I'd be doing it for you as much as for myself. Or something like that. I'm still working on myself, but... I hope we can uh, keep helping each other, too. Thank you, Kasumi. You are cute. And holy crap, this, uh, this ability is very overpowered. Highly recommend you go after this. Chains Hook. Straight up lets you use your grappling hook as an attack.
Yeah, so basically, you can use your grappling hook to ambush enemies further away at a certain distance. This is very, very powerful because you can just straight up snipe enemies that you wouldn't have gotten other, uh, otherwise. This is exclusive to Perso uh, Persona 5 Royal, hence it's only with Kasumi. Along with that, if you uh, hit the enemy with Chain's Hook, you do have a chance to uh, dizzy, confuse, or fear opponents. So, lots of benefits for a very overpowered uh, attack ambush method. Now, we should get to training. Maybe we can try some intermediate level ex uh, exercises today. And we get plus 5 HP. Good effort. I should be going. You know, hopefully your phone actually works on- Oh, okay, you actually are calling me. Hello, Mamiya Senpai. Are you able to talk right now? So, I already gave my dad the glasses we picked out today. And it suits him even better than I imagined. He was so happy with them. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. I think this helped me feel a little more confident. Yeah, that's the uh, thing I messed up. I clicked the third option, which is the only one that doesn't give you points with her. Of course. And thanks to you, I even uh, I even feel like my gymnastics are going to be go better now. I'm sick of wasting my time worrying. Whatever I'm up against, I'm just going to give it my best shot. But actions always speak louder than words, right? I'll prove I'm, on, I'm not all talk. Okay, I'd better go. I hope we can talk again later. You are cute. Either that I just like redheads a lot, considering I am one. Uh, but it, it, I mean, besides that, there's only a fine line between an ugly person and a beautiful person when it comes to redheads. Anyway, I'm joking, of course. Hello. Crossword puzzle. Play a little. The a border between air masses. A front? Like an air front? I'm gonna see if that's actually right, because if it is, then it is immaculous. Uh, apparently it is. When warm and cold air of equal force collide and stall, the border is called a stationary front. When one lasts from summer to spring, uh, spring to summer, it is called a seasonal rain front. Rainy season is called Tsuyu in Japan, written with the Chinese characters uh, uh, for plum and rain, possibly due to how the rain constantly falls as the plums ripen. All right. I see. Cool. I guess. More than anything. More knowledge. Hopefully hit rank 5 soon. Uh, Mishima wants to hang out. Uh, oh yeah, Mishima. Oh, I know who we gotta talk to. We got some beef with that fortune teller. Uh, do I have fortune on me? Piss, no I don't. Let me go grab that real quick. Uh, sorry Justine for wanting to hang out with me. You're not worth my time! Alright, I just grabbed that clotho we had uh, before. Uh, I mean, we need to grab this anyway, because uh, you do have Sio and Freyl. Actually, doesn't our Principality have that? Yes, it does. So this is pointless. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Anyway, sorry, Mishima. Also, ever since Shinjuku has been unlocked, uh, Mishima's been here. He kind of just travels to different places as time goes by. First it's in Central Street, then it's in Shinjuku. Uh, he will have a permanent place, so... Uh, why are these guys here? Uh... Oh, no. I'm just gonna walk away from that before I get drugged in like Ryuji did. What do you think? Well, did her fate change? Tell her the result. Fine. Fine, let's hear it. Please sit down. Fate is not absolute. No, no, no. This must be some sort of 
trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make any deals. Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Those are very specific measures. I'm not capable of that stuff. Well, you certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. your fortune please I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers besides I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better how does that sound is it a deal mm -mm. otherwise it won't be able to go on please I beg you I need to know if fate truly can be changed all right I guess To verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Don't phrase it like that. Made a deal with Chihaya. And yes, after getting scammed out of a hundred thousand dollars, we're being brought back to the future. Well, present. And uh, well, how are you gonna lowball this, Sai? Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. That's very... Uh, okay, whatever. Sure, let's let you believe that. Of course, she is of the fortune persona. So, fortune arcana and luck reading. Temporarily increases the uh, growth rate of a selected social stat. Fortune is interesting, and this is definitely one of the Arcanas you want to level up. She's going to make it easier for us to level up other confidants. We'll see that later, though. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Is it though? Alright, whatever. Um, Mommy and son. Whew, I forgot to get your contact info. Whoops. Huh, there we go. I'll be contacting you soon, so please come for the verification test, okay? I suggest you don't try to get out of it, or else, who knows what kind of bla uh, black magic I'll have to resort to. I'll be there. Great! Now our deal is official. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. Please be careful on your way home. Until next time. I'll see you soon. You're very friendly all of a sudden. Jihaya is weird. I mean, I don't know. She's kind of both nice, but also both a, like, really bad person. Oh, hey. come on. Why do we have this? We don't have anything. <laughs> Uh, alright, alright, well, what can I open up? Definitely don't read, um, the other, what, what was it? Yeah, don't w read this, this just tells you everything in Yungan Jaya. I guess I could do... Crap. I guess we'll just do vague? Uh-oh. Right, if you've already been there, the book automatically completes. What about nightlife hotspots? Okay, where is this taking us? Wow. Oh, it's taking us to Seaside. Okay. 
That's a place we will go to later, but that's not really an explorable area. It's more of a scene area. Kind of cool, I guess. We didn't have anything else to read, man. Gotta wait for those books. Seaside Park. Odaiba Seaside Park features a scenic ocean view and a modern train station. All right. So there you go. More of like a dating spot, I guess. But eh, what do I know about dating? Never had a girlfriend. That, that ended off sadder than I thought. Jesus. Back out here. Uh, oh. Right. She literally changes her hours, uh... Dur yeah. So, come during the day for your fortune at night for the test. So, I guess I could demonstrate this real quick. Uh, also, why is On not upable? Okay, that's concerning. Because I kind of needed her to be upable. Anyway. We head out to here. Here's Chihaya. Also, you're trying to spoil the future. What shall we do? Yeah, so we can do luck reading. And it's 5,000 bucks every time. So there you go. Now. And then, there we go. In this, you can choose whichever, um, I guess, social stat you would want to rank up. I think I am going to hang out with Takemi, maybe? I can't really hang out with On because it's just going to waste my time, so... Let's do the guts. There will be other services she will provide us. The Fool card. Guts are more likely to increase today. What do you think? There we go. So, I guess we'll just hang out with Takemi now that we've done that. Do I have death? Oh, I swear to God, if I don't have death, I don't have death. Ah, I'll meet you in Takemi's office. Over here, decided to just skip all that. I just grabbed a mandrake. That's all I did. The patient asked me, uh, you're still going on about the stupid glasses. I want to do a clinical trial. Uh, oh. Kimmy is depressed. Oh, oh, come, oh, come on. Ah, oh, screw you. All right, that's annoying. Well, crap. So Takemi won't hang out until I level up Charm. I can't. Ugh. All right. Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do. Let's head to Chichi. Uh, Chichi Joji. Kichi Joji. Real quick. Damn, that's really annoying. Cause I was kind of banking on that. Uh, so much for the guts. Welcome. Welcome. What do you play? I think I'm gonna play darts, actually. Hmm. Darts, huh? We haven't done this before. Darts will rank up our baton pass ranks. So, and there's a very specific way of playing this. I'll show you when we get in there, though. I'm definitely do? going to grab on for this. Might as well call everybody else. So, first person you get to choose is always, well, guaranteed. And the second person is random. So, who's our random people? Makoto and Yusuke. Okay. So, if you do this right, you can max out their baton right, uh, ranks right here. I'll show what that, um, how to do that, though. Playing 01, we have five rounds to bring our score down to zero. So, there we go. 301. You can do this. Yeah. So the way you want to do this is that you don't want to outright just win. Uh, also, yes, this is a very weird control scheme. It's very... Uh, okay, and then there's the rule of darts app. If you don't know how to play darts, uh, this is pretty simple. Basically, where the numbers are is how many points you get. If it's this small one where the tip of this uh, cone is, that's a triple. On the end, there's a double. All the white spaces are single. So, the way you want to do this, and the way I've always done it, is I've always hit for the triples at the beginning, and then just screw around the second round. You want the person you're hanging out with to get the final uh, shot on this darts game. So, I'm going to see if I can land this first try. There we go. Yes. It's all motion-based, so uh, I did not mean to do that. I just held back. There we go. 
So hopefully, on is decent. Uh, each person is actually like steadily different on how they play nervous. darts. So on go. tries to aim for bull, uh, bullseyes, but sometimes she just completely whiffs it. Let's see what she does here. Almost a bullseye. There is a bullseye on the black too. D damn. Okay. We'll have to be careful here. So 71. That means we can go for. Could for, go for 230 or 230s. Uh, 220s. No. I go for. I could go for 320s and make her go for the 11, which is on the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because 246. Yeah. All right. Aiming for the white. Okay, I thought that was going to be a one. I was going to be pissed. Also, if you go over, um, you kind of screw yourself over. There we go. 11. Perfect. Last round. And this will occur. Yeah, finishing throw. Basically, you have to say the right thing. Just play like normal. Thanks. Yeah. That depends on who you're talking to. It's pretty obvious though, and there we go. If you do that, they won't rank up just once. They'll rank up twice. So instead of baton pass rank one, that I think, so you are now rank three. Max her out immediately. Uh, and ranked me up too. Makoto wants to... Okay, sure. Same deal here. I'm glad to show this off early on, though, because um, we will eventually be doing this with all of our party members because baton passes are so overpowered. Um, Again, try to hit for the triple... Oh, this is... Yeah, that was being really stupid. At least try to go for all the triples. There we go. 178. We can definitely make it back from that. And Makoto, <laughs> if I s just like the simulations, sure. Let's see how you do. We did take you to an arcade after all. Triple 16, triple 19. Holy Jesus, okay. You go for the big balls. That's, wow, that was poor choice of words. Calm down. Uh, yeah, how sorry. <laughs> sorry, Makoto. So, we could go for 220s and a 1, make it back up to 11, which I think I'm going to do. Just on the safe side. Mm -hmm. I tend to just stay on the 20 side, because darts in this game is really not that hard. Like, you just got to time it. It's really not an issue. I see. Alright. Please let me remember which one I got to tell to you. Don't tell me. Um, uh, take a deep breath. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna check this real quick because this is important. Okay, I was right. Take a deep breath. I see. Controlled breathing. You clearly have not played Sniper Elite. There we go. Two people. Well, actually, three people with rank three baton passes. Awesome. Incredible. He did it. So that means, yeah, we're going to get HP, SP recovers, and way more damage when we baton pass to on Makoto and Ren. So, yeah, works out really good. Also, that ranked up proficiency. Holy crap. That is really good. Because, like, you don't technically need rank 5 proficiency for anything else. But, holy crap, I'm glad we got that. All right. Masterful. So much fun. And got points with everybody. Should do it for now. All right, then. I am very happy with that. Kind of wish I got the guts bonus there because we would have gotten two points. Uh, we still have tonight, though. The deadline's tomorrow. We gonna be okay? The pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. That is, if we are able to trust what Kaneshiro said. Don't say such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. 
He may still end up released from police custody. For real? That is, unless if they have decisive evidence like a confession. It'll be fine. True. There does seem to be some in, uh, some movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance that the police have found their breakthrough. Oh, does that mean it happened? The timing is perfect. I guess let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. Sure, buddy. Uh, Oya wants to hang out. Mishima wants to hang out. Can't hang out with EY. Huh. God, no, you level up charm. Mishima doesn't level up anything. Oh, Kawakami, never mind. Um, we do need you. Uh, temper, 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 temper. Do I really not have temper? Oh, God damn it. Okay. Uh, this is just an episode of grabbing personas that I did not prepare for. This is what happens when there's a bunch of confidants and limited space. Let me go grab temperance real quick. Okay, I just went ahead and grabbed Genbu. Uh, if you have Genbu from uh, Kamashita's Palace, then you're good on that end. Otherwise, I believe um, uh, one of the bird dudes, I can't remember his name, uh, from Madarame's Palace is Temperance. Anyway, call the service. We spent 5,000 bucks already. Uh, oh. Who is this? Nurse at Ayama Hospital, speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Collapsed. Yep. Head over there right away. This was what I was hoping we were going to get earlier. Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal out of, about it. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Ugh. How can I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. I'm only going to make today's payment. Tch, there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawak uh, Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san. You contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I I'm sorry. These, uh, these are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Mess around with other student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? Tch. And after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Mamiya kun. Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place, and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time job overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret. In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we'll be looking forward to receiving your payment. Look, a bad, uh, bag of dicks. I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Think this through more. Huh. I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? 
It's not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. Just rest for now. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. Appreciate you coming to visit me today. Made me really happy. What a bag of guardian dicks are those people, dear god. All right. Even if you were just guardians to him, you are terrible people. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later, Get home then. safe, okay? Mm. Like, seriously, I feel really bad for uh, Kawakami. Because, like, yeah, your kid get got killed, but, like, in the end, he is the one who got himself to that position. Not because he was just tired. There is a way to micromanage everything, and, well... Some people can't handle it, unfortunately. Not to put that in the lamest to, uh, terms, because there are people who have suffered from that, and I, I mean, I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough situation, so... I don't know. Why am I arguing about a fake uh, thing happening in a video game? I guess those people really did piss me off. It's so hot. Who cares? Did you catch the news report this morning about the mafia boss getting busted? Apparently, someone scattered calling cars all over Shibuya just before his arrest. Remember the Kamashita scandal? They say the same thing happened. That someone left a calling card. Madarame too, if I'm not mistaken. Do you think it's the Phantom Thieves? If so, I'm oppressed. I can't believe they actually steal hearts. One day at a time, I guess, right? No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. yes, yes. He's absolutely He's right. right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Damn it. Uh, okay. Leader of the crime ring that was causing in Shibuya got caught. Seems like some of our students been victimized by them, so we can breathe easy for now. I'm thankful for the police for arresting the perp, even though they're just doing their job. Uh, why are you... Okay, sure. Can you answer the question? Oh, God, okay. Know what the shape is. I'm gonna say a triangle. <laughs> Correct. Some of interior angles of a triangle will always be equal to... Okay, this is just boring. Screw that. Nice going. More knowledge. Uh, sure. Why? Okay, I'm just skipping all that because that was just completely boring. I hate geometry and angles and, well, math. Never again do I ever want to take a math class. Screw that. Hell yeah! Kaneshiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Well, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. 
So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Another metaverse user. Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive! Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party! Wow! Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. Uh... What's wrong? Hello. I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? <sighs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it!
I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. So much drama. Uh, shut up, Sojuro. This reaction is incredible. That's, I'm honestly quite shocked to see it. So it's only natural that people were surprised. Even the police were struggling to catch him. Yeah. By the way, you said you were called in by the principal? Did something happen? It was regarding my investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamashita. Don't worry. I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him I was unable to find any information. Thank you, Makoto. Don't mention it. I've graduated from my role as the exemplary honor student. From now on, I'm just going to be more on uh, honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. What are you going to do now? Want to stay with the Phantom Thieves? That's my intention. Assuming it wouldn't be any trouble. Welcome aboard. It'd actually be a big problem if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It will be it would be greatly convenient. Well then, I hope I can continue getting along with all of you. An advisor, huh? This new teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. Uh, considering we already start, uh, started hanging out with her. Uh, oh, 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 why uh why are you wait, you are not supposed to be available. Why are you available? Huh. That's interesting. Okay, that's news to me. Uh, I'm still not going to hang out with Akechi in your... I was not even supposed to hang out with Hifumi yet, but eh, whatever. Last thing before we end things off. I'm going to chuck on the plant. Because plant... It's still healthy, okay. Although... Oh, yeah, okay, right. That's kindness, not proficiency. I'm very surprised we got proficiency. We needed rank 4 for Yusuke. That's why I was so... Um, Carefully trying to work on proficiency, but anyway, now that all things are settled and uh, well, we have uh, won once again. Next time on Persona 5 Royal, I guess we'll just start making our summer plans after our exams are over. Oh god, exams! I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.